In this lesson, we're going to learn some of the more advanced features with templates in Beaver Builder. Now, I'm really excited to go through this lesson with you because when I learned how templates worked and what I'm about to show you in this lesson, I learned how to do things faster when I was building websites. Templates in Beaver Builder are one of the best things that Beaver Builder does compared to the competitors in the page builder space. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how you can create your own templates how you can use your own templates to build your pages faster. And then I'm going to go into the WordPress dashboard and show you guys how you can manage your templates in the dashboard of your WordPress install. So firstly, let's create a page template. So to do that, let's launch Beaver Builder on this page. So for this lesson, I want to show you the features of the templates. So I don't want to sit here and design a page in front of you. So we're going to start off with this out of the box template that comes with Beaver Builder. Now, and a good application of a page template might be you have your top section here with your page title, and then down a bit, you might have the content of your page. So let's just go ahead and do that. So let's remove this, and let's just drag in the heading for our page. And we might do the About Us page first, and then we might center it, and we might make that a H1 because there's no other H1s on the page. And I'm going to remove this countdown timer. And then we might make the page heading white. So as you learned in previous videos, we want to work from the row and then the columns and then the module. So for the row, let's set the text color to white. Or even a gray. A gray could work really nicely. There we go. And while we're here, we don't want this to be full height because this is just our page title. So something like that. Maybe we'll add a little bit of padding to the top and the bottom. Now let's move this up here. Again, I'm just doing this quickly. We're focusing more on the features of the templates rather than how our template looks. So maybe something like that. So on each page, we'd have our page title, maybe a big call to action for that page. And then for the rest of the page, let's just have our page content. So I'm just going to get rid of all these other rows that came with this pre-existing template. And then in there, let's just add a text editor field. I'm just going to paste in some dummy text just so we get the idea. And I might just remove the padding on this row. Something like that. And that's again part of that template. So this is what we're going to start with each time we create a new content page. So a content page is not the home page. So a home page, we could use one of those out of the box templates and go through and have our home page a little bit larger. But for our content pages, so the inner pages of our website, like the About Us pages, the contact pages, FAQ, we want to start with this template as the base for every page. So what we do now is we click on Tools, Save Template, and we give this a name. So we could call this Content Pages. And if you're doing this quite regularly, like you're updating it, I do like to put a date there. It's just me out of habit. I think it's good practice because if I design a page template on say the 1st of November, and then I update it on the 15th of November, I do like to keep both templates just so I can refer to them if, you know, just in case. So let's just give this a date. So let's just say the 1st of November, like that example. And then let's save that and then click OK, and now our template is saved. So let's click Done and publish this page. And this is our About Us page. Now let's go ahead and create something like our FAQs page. So let's go up and click New Page. Again, this is the power of templates that I'm about to show you. Let's call this FAQs. 
and then launch Beaver Builder. And here's the first difference when you create your own template. So in the previous tutorial, remember how we hadn't saved any templates? When we created a new page or clicked on the templates button at the top, by default it opened landing pages. But now that we have our own templates in our system, because we just saved one, whenever you open either the templates button or you create a new page, it defaults to your templates. So these are all the templates that I've been saving while building this awesome course for you guys. So the master rows, uh, team member I used for one of the tutorials. So all of these I've created throughout the duration of this course to make these videos. And I've created them so if I ever need to go and update a video, for instance, the master rows, I can click that, the template loads where I had left off that video and then I can go forwards from there. But when you're creating a website, they're really handy because content pages like the one we just saved, I can click. That loads that into the page. And now I just go through and update the content. So FAQs. We might change the background image. We might change the content. We might remove the button, just say we don't wanna have a call to action on this page. And then here in the content area, we could go to our advanced modules and then insert an accordion. And I'm just gonna do some dummy accordions here. And duplicate that sample one. And then I'll just delete this text editor. Again, I'm just trying to create some sample content to move forward with this tutorial. But see, there you go. So we created our About Us page. We liked the layout. We saved that as a template. And now every time we create a new page, we can insert that template as a base to design from. And then we just go through and tweak the content to match that page. So if I click Done and then Publish, and this menu at the top, I'm just gonna pause this video and update it with the two pages that we just created. Okay, so I've just gone ahead and added those two pages that we just designed up the top here, and then we have our home page. So let's just go through these, and you'll see how the consistency of using a template makes the website as we browse through the pages feel like it's the one website, which is what we want. Consistency across a website allows people to know where they can find information because things aren't changing unnecessarily between different pages. So the home page. So again, this is the out of the box template that came with Beaver Builder. And then the about us page. And then the FAQs page. So already just by using that template as a base each time we create a new content page, we've got that feel that it's all the one website, our branding's on point and they're saving us time. A tip from somebody who's been designing websites for a while, the homepage is usually the hardest one to start because you're starting from a blank white page. But by the time you finish a homepage, you realize that it didn't actually take too long and you're very happy with how it's turned out. But then you move on to the content pages and you're not quite sure what to put on them. You haven't got information from a client if you're running a web agency. The content pages I find are the hardest part. But something that's allowed me to move forward with designing content pages is first coming up with a template for a content page. You know, the, the page title up the top, maybe a logo, the text here, the content area, and then you'd have your footer. So by having, you know, a few different rows on the page, but basing it on a template, each time I create a new content page and load this template in here, it not only allows me to add content straight away, but it gives me ideas of both the content I should add onto the page and also how it should be structured and laid out. So next time you are creating your content pages, first try and create your own template and then import that template into a content page and see if it helps you spark ideas for content generation. 
So I know that's all a lot to take in. And let's just recap as we go throughout this lesson because there's gonna be a load of information within this one. So I've shown you how to save a template once you've designed it on a page. I've shown you how when you click to launch Beaver Builder, when you click on the templates icon, if you have a saved template that you've saved, it defaults to your templates in the drop down. But if you wanna go back to the landing pages, you can always change it. Thus also the content pages. And I've also shown you how to utilize templates across different pages to keep a consistent branding, but also explain the benefits of how it can generate ideas for content and also keep your website looking the same throughout. So this is all on the front end of your website. So we haven't actually gone back to the dashboard, but obviously these templates that we're creating and these pages that we're creating are being saved to the database. And that's in the back end of our website. So let's go onto our dashboard and I'll show you how templates are managed in the back end. Now to access the templates that we've been saving on the front end of our website, we first need to show them in the menu over here. So to do that, we go to settings and then page builder. And then under templates, we wanna check this checkbox, which says enable templates admin. So let's check this and then click save template settings. And now those settings are updated and notice we have a new menu item over here that says templates. So let's click on that. So this is the list of templates that we currently have saved in our website. And as you will notice, this list of templates here is the exact same list of templates as when we click on the templates button or we create a new page. So again, we have the landing pages, content pages and your templates your templates loads by default, and this list of templates here is the exact same list of templates that we're seeing here. Now by default, Beaver Builder does not show this templates menu icon. You have to activate it like we just did. I highly recommend always activating that, not only for just this tutorial, but in a later module where we discuss reusing content, it's gonna become invaluable to have this showing. So I always have this showing on any Beaver Builder website that I do. And I do recommend that you also activate it here. So the first thing that I wanna show you guys in this template section in the WordPress dashboard is what happens when we edit this template. So content pages 0111, that's the one that we just saved. If we click page builder, it opens that template and we can save the changes on this template. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Say we have this row here with the page title and we wanna make more padding on top and below the text. So we could go up to our row settings and then in the advanced tab, we could set this to maybe 80. So save. And we might also wanna get rid of the icon. And maybe also the button. So that's our new template. And again, you add content like you would any other page. And then we can click done and publish changes. And now that template is saved. So the template's been updated. We've changed the design of that template. So now if we go to add a new page, so new page. And let's just call this about us updated and then let's click page builder launch the beaver builder page builder so now if we select that content pages 0111 template it comes with that updated design so let's click done and let's just publish this so you can see the page title has more spacing We've removed the icon or the logo and removed the button. And now each time we create a page, it loads that updated template. So I think one thing that people might struggle with is how do I update a template? And they might load the template into a new page, then save those changes, and then create a new page and select that template and wonder why their changes didn't happen. It's because when you load a template on the front end of your website and then you change it, it's just changing it for that page. If you wanna actually change 
the default layout of a template, you have to come up to your dashboard and then do it through that new template section that will just in. Now I always come to the dashboard to do anything with the templates that I save on my website. So if I wanna update them or trash them, I always come into the dashboard and under templates, I then edit that template. Because for me, it's more familiar. It's like editing a post or a page. But there is also another way you can edit a template and that's on the front end of your website. When you're in Beaver Builder on a page, you can click on templates. And there's also an edit button next to the template. So we could go in and click edit on one of these. So I could click edit. And this is one that I've used previously for a previous lesson. And now I'm editing that template. So any changes that I make here, if I click done and publish these changes, whenever I create a new page or I insert this template into a page, this version of the template will be inserted. Now the next thing that I wanna show you for this templates functionality is the templates categories. So currently when we're adding a template to a page, That's how our templates display. So all our templates are mixed together. But you can actually categorize them. So we could have different ones for content. We could have different ones for home pages that we've made. We could have different ones for team members. We could have a whole array of different categories based on the website we're doing. So let's go back to the dashboard and let's create our first template category. So let's click on categories. And then let's create our new category. So let's just call it content pages. And then we'd click add new template category. And then let's go back to our templates. So let's add our content pages template to the content pages category. So we can click that and click update. Now on the front end, if we reload this page, and then click templates. You can see that we now have our category headings and then the templates underneath. So this helps us as we develop a longer list of templates that we've saved, we can come in here and go, okay, what are we looking for? Content pages, that's the one that I want. It's very, very handy as this template number grows and you're gonna thank yourself later if you do start categorizing your templates early on. Now, while we're here, another thing that we should go through is deleting a template. So to delete a template, you can do that in two ways. We could click this templates button and then hover on it and then we could delete one of our own templates. So let's go ahead and just delete my homepage. So we can click the delete button, confirm that, and that's gone. Now, if we go back to the dashboard, you'll see that that's no longer there either. So it's actually deleted that template from our website. And that's exactly what we want. Another way to delete a template is to come in here to the template section and then you go through it like a normal post. You trash it and then you delete it from the trash. And there's one last thing that I wanna point out in this lesson, these are all a post type. So like a page, like a post, these are saved in the database as their own post type. And the post type for a Beaver Builder template, we can look in the URL and it's fl builder hyphen template. So post underscore type equals fl builder hyphen template. And that's the same if we go to a page, post underscore type equals page. The Beaver Builder templates are saved as their own post type, which is the fl builder hyphen template. And because they're native WordPress post types, we can import them and export them and that's gonna lead us on to our next lesson where I show you exactly how to do that. So let's wrap up this lesson and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.